Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're gonna to be checking out Neptune Systems LDK Leak Detection Kit. If you wanna know the moment a leak starts, regardless of where you are, so you can act fast to protect your reef tank and all its inhabitants from catastrophe, as well as protect your home's floors, walls, furniture, and electrical from any wayward water that could cause thousands in damage, and even be able to take action remotely from your mobile device through Apex Fusion, then check out the Neptune Systems LDK. This was actually a big one for me and it was the first piece of equipment that my spouse actually asked me to look into for the tank, obvious reasons. Plus the FMM module that's in there can do more than just detect leaks. Preventing leaks with proper insulation of your aquarium and its equipment, along with adding redundancies like check valves is always a good start, but it's impossible to cover every possibility and even our backups and redundancies aren't 100%. So catching a leak as quickly as possible can make a world of difference for both your reef and your home. The Neptune Systems LDK gives your Apex the ability to notify you right away, anytime, anywhere, if water has made its way somewhere it shouldn't. It takes only a few minutes to set up and it comes with two of the LD2 leak probes so you can catch that leak on either end of your tank or under the tank as well as inside the stand by the sump. The FMM also has four ports so you can add up to two more sensors to cover all of your bases like low profile sensors for those super tight spots or under a carpet. Plus that FMM module has a few other non leak related tricks up its sleeve but before we get to that, let's get it out of the box. In the box, you'll find the FMM module, two of the LD2 leak detection probes, and a three foot Aquabus cable. The LDK works with all versions of Apex, so whether you've got a junior, classic, full Apex, or Apex EL, you're covered. Setup is a breeze with the tasks function in Fusion. You just plug in the FMM to the Apex using the Aquabus cable and click the clipboard icon and search the tasks list for LDK. Follow the prompts and in a few minutes, your LDK will be ready to notify you if any water makes it to those probes. Probe placement is important and you'll wanna put them in the place that water is most likely to come from or where it's going to pool first if something starts leaking. For example, on the floor near any external equipment or overflow box, beside your sump or ATO reservoir, close to your ATO or dosing lines, near your skimmer, and beside or underneath your aquarium stand on the floor. A good trick to find out where water's most likely to pool first near your tank is to place a marble on the floor and let it naturally roll into the lowest point. Water will likely follow the same path, making it a good location for a leak detection probe. The FMM module has four ports on the bottom that can support up to four probes. So if you have a longer tank, adding one or two more probes can provide better coverage and increase your chances of being notified right when a leak starts. The LD2 probes that come with the LDK are best used on solid surfaces like hardwood, tile, or inside your aquarium stand. If you have carpet, you can use the LD1 low profile probes to hide neatly under the carpet and out of sight. They also work really well if you have to sneak them into a particularly tight spot in your stand. The included FMM module is also used for the ATK and flow sensors. So if you already have an FMM with free ports, you can skip the LDK and just grab yourself some LD1 or LD2 probes and plug them into the free ports on your existing FMM. There's also a task in Fusion specifically for adding a leak detection probe to an existing FMM like your ATK, which makes it really easy. If you do get the LDK and you only need to use the two leak detection probes that come with it, you can use those two extra ports on the FMM for things like flow sensors and optical sensors, both of which can be great ways to add extra layers of redundancy. For example, an optical sensor can be used to let you know if the water level in your sump ever gets too high or perhaps too low, add in the leak probe and it could be enough information for you to know that your auto top off has failed on causing that overflow or leak and you can remotely shut off power to the ATO and stop it before you even make it home. Beyond just text alerts and emails, you can also set your apex to have your equipment automatically react if a leak is detected. A good example of this is to have your apex automatically trigger the Adaptive Reef 24 volt audible visual alarm. If your phone or your tablet is charging or not in your pocket, having a big, bright, noisy warning in the house is a phenomenal option and one that I will most definitely be using. 
There are lots of other ways to get the absolute most out of your Apex, and a lot of it is just knowing the tips and tricks to setting up those redundancies so that you can have your Apex really work to protect your tank, and it won't even cost you a penny. Randy has an awesome playlist on mastering your Apex right here. He goes over all of that stuff for you in a nice, easy to understand way. If you are new to the world of Apex and uh, you know just getting your feet wet and wanna do some you know, next level stuff that maybe isn't all in the tasks function, you can check it out. He's gonna walk you all through it, makes it super easy, and then you can feel really good knowing that your Apex is working its absolute hardest to, to back up your tank. And that's a good feeling. Check it out.